Ready? I'll talk just as I can? Okay. Hello, my name is Gabor Gilax, the empath, and I'm the founder of Zarnaps for the Ethical Treatment of Humans. When we Zarnaps discovered Earth 10 sun cycles ago, we were horrified at the way humans abuse the other animals in this planet, and we pledged to do better. But some Zarnaps started eating a few humans here, a few humans there, and before you know it... When your seven stomachs are a grumbling, don't reach for the Quesnar fruit. Grill up some fresh human, then you know what to do. Human meat, great for family dinners. Billions of humans are exploited every year in Zarnap Industries. It's big business now, but Seth is working hard to stop it. After some morning emails and meetings, I usually head over to Kimblorky Fried Human to hand out some literature during the lunch rush. Oh, excuse me, miss. Uh, do you have a moment for human babies? I have to get to yeah. work. Just one second, just here. Humans used for food are kept in rows of cages like these. Jeez, oh, I don't want to see that. Did you know that humans are just as smart as four-year-old Zarnap larvae? In fact, they can even recognize themselves in a selfie. I have to go. I'm sorry. No, just because they don't emote through pheromone gas clusters like we do doesn't make them less worthy of their lives. I it can be rough, but if we don't speak up for humans, who will? It's not like they can help themselves. They're pretty stupid. And we're learning the best way to talk to Zarnaps about human liberation. I run a weekly focus group that I find very... useful. Okay, okay. So why do you want to eat humans? I worry about protein. Isn't human flesh the only way to get it? Yeah. No, no, there are actually a lot of easy ways. Oh my god, fun. you guys, what about human bacon? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. yeah. There's nothing better than waking up to the fresh smell of thick-cut human bacon. Oh. Well, would you eat another animal? Say chickens? Oh! That's disgusting. Whoa, no, no, no. What's the difference between chickens and humans? Chickens are wonderful animals. They're kind, uh -huh. intelligent, uh -huh. great with kids. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Frankly, I'm offended that you would even make the comparison. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. Chickens even speak Zarnab. <laughs> but the movement is gaining traction. You know, people really seem to be getting it. I did not know any of that. And not eating humans reduces the chances of getting Klapsong virus, streptochronitis, and space diabetes. My mother died of space diabetes. And we've really been breaking through in the media lately. And welcome back to Quailzerp tonight. I am Quailzerp the Interrogator. Uh, Gaborculax, what would you say to Zarnaps who think that humans are a lower life form? Uh, they don't even understand a basic interstellar travel, and those things they call hoverboards, well, they don't even hover. Well, I think I would say... Oh, this is ridiculous! The notion that we should stop eating humans, experimenting on them, using the one they call Carrot Top in our trouting shows, is ludicrous! Humans are stupid animals that... Excuse me. If we took an IQ test right now, and I tested above you, would that give me the right to eat you? Or to use you in whatever way I please? Of course not. And it doesn't give us the right to abuse humans. The question isn't how smart they are. We all know that humans are far, far less intelligent than any other species in the galaxy. Very stupid, very Quite. stupid. The question is, are they suffering? There can be no doubt that, yes, they are, and we are making them suffer, and we can stop it, today. When future Zarnab generations look back on us, do we want them to see us as heartless, or do we want them to see us as having the three hearts we know each Zarnab has? Because when Zarnabs really take a second and think about it, they realize that abusing humans is wrong, just like it would be for any other species. Yes. Just like any other species. <laughs>